welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you my everyday makeup look so if you want to know how I achieve this then keep on watching so first step to my everyday makeup look is tinted moisturizer I use a lot of different tinted moisturizers but I find myself reaching out for this one the most and this is the NARS pure radiant tinted moisturizer what I like about this product is it's not full coverage since it's a tinted moisturizer. That way, like, it still looks like skin and my imperfections still seep through the product. And it gives my skin a healthy glow. So, we're all about that glow. I use my fingers to blend, like, work the product in my skin because I find that the product tends to work better when I apply it with my fingers. So when I'm applying my tinted moisturizer, minsan, I also put it under my eyes. Kasi may mga araw naman na hindi ganun ka, hindi ganun ka item yung eye, mga, yung eye bags natin. So baka naman kaya kahit walang concealer. And don't forget your neck. So after our tinted moisturizer, um, we're going to spot conceal. Um, I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. So konti lang. And again, I'm gonna use my fingers kasi ako naman to, so hindi siya nakakadiri. And, oh, ang dami. <laughs> and, um, yun nga, parang I feel like the product just sets better on the skin when I use my fingers. So, ring finger lang because this is the gentlest um, finger that we have. So, around the nose, kasi dyan yung redness. I usually get redness around the nose. On the chin, I have a few marks on my chin. So, what I like to do is on the areas na medyo dark talaga, yung hyperpigmentation, I tend to let it set, like let the concealer set for a bit before I blend it in with my beauty blender. So, ganito lang siya, guys. Blender. Ganyan. So, when it comes to our eyes, sa nakikita ko, at this moment, hindi naman masyadong maitim yung eye bags ko. So, I'm just gonna... But little drop, uh, like little dots, tito lang sa inner corners. I usually don't like applying too much concealer under my eyes because I feel like on me it looks heavy. Just a bit. And then you, I just blend it out. After that, whatever excess concealer that I have, I use my beauty blender and I just go over my eyelids because I have like veiny. Eyelids, like the veins on my eyelids, I tend to like peep through. Don't forget to put it in your inner corner as well. Yeah, and then just blend it out. Para harmonious yung color. And guys, before I forget, I also tend to have like a little bit of darkness around my mouth, like the corners ng mouth ko. So, again, tin natin ng konte. Next is we're going to set the concealer in place. Like if you notice, merong mga areas of your face that it tends to crease or like oil up a bit. But yung iba kasi yung ginagawa nila is they put powder. But personally, for me, for an everyday use, like everyday an everyday look, ayoko yung masadong cakey or like heavy. So I like really avoid to use, like I really avoid to layer products on my skin. So. Ang gagawin natin, this is a tip. I'm gonna be spraying my MAC Prep and Prime on my beauty blender. This. Like that. <laughs> Tapos, we're gonna be dabbing it on the areas na kinamita natin ng concealer. Tito sa T-zone natin, where we get oily, so the product doesn't slip off your face. Kahit pagpawisan kayo, hindi siya magsislip off. Hopefully, it works for you. <laughs> but, like, I'm just saying, this works for me. Also, like, I like dabbing it over my smile line. 
over here because this area really tends to crease the most after my under eyes. Next up is we're really gonna lock in the tinted moisturizer onto our skin because we live in a very, very, very humid country. So, kahit pagpawisan tayo, ganyan. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. I like about this. It, it's very light. Parang translucent siya. And, of course, it makes me glow even more. I like it when my skin's glowy but not greasy. And this product is perfect for that everyday glow talaga. Next step is we're going to bring some color on our face. And this is probably one of my favorite makeup products. The bronzer. And I use the NARS stick. Bruh. Guys, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm just, I'm gonna put the the products that I used on the description box down below. Tingnan nyo naman. Even the label isn't there any. Like, it's there, but it's not really there. And, basag na rin yung chunga. So, I'm just gonna put it in the description box. I know that it looks a bit weird at this stage, but... Siyempre, you want to define also your jawbone a bit. And here, para hindi tayo mukhang panot. I like to do is I like to take my brush and just blend that in. So guys, a rule of thumb when applying makeup is don't apply cream products over your powdered products. Kanina, you saw that I applied the candle glow before the bronzer, but no, na hindi ko naman nilagyan the areas na nilagyan ko ng bronzer. So, that's just my method. But if you're more comfortable putting the bronzer first and then the powder, then you can do that instead. Also, like when applying bronzer, don't put it like across your face like this. Um, a rule of thumb also is just go like a third of your eye. Ganyan, hanggang dyan lang. So, hanggang dito, stop na. Now, we're still working that bronzer into our skin. And guys, please don't forget to really blend the one on your jawline, like under your jawline. Because I always forget that part. Parang may putik minsan. Now, moving on to my brows. I think it's important to take note now when it comes to makeup, products are very versatile. Hindi lang siya isang gamitan. So, I'm going to be using this MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC... I don't even know what NC this is, guys. Like, ang tagal na nito sa akin. May nagbigay lang. And at first, like, I didn't really know what to do with it. With it. But since I dyed my hair to a lighter color, parang pwede naman siyang pangkilay. So, this is what I've been using. So, any brown powder will do. Kahit eyeshadow pa yan. Basta match naman sa hair nyo and sa hair nyo sa eyebrows. So, I'm gonna brush your, my eyebrows with the spoolie. Like that. Tapos, we're gonna take the brush end and just draw like little strokes. We're not trying to like have Instagram eyebrows. Because since this is an everyday look, like we wanna look fresh lang. Yung may kilay pa rin tayo. And even with the tail, I don't extend it if it's like an everyday look. Kasi nga, I still want to look like I barely have anything on my face. When it comes to doing your eyebrows, um, always remember that if you want it to look natural, it should have like a gradient effect. Like darker on the outer corners and lighter in the inner corners because that's how eyebrows are naturally. Use a spoolie to just comb that up. Kasi malungkot naman pag yung eyebrow nakababa. Malungkot siya. As redundant as it sounds, your eyebrows are meant to be sisters and not twins. So kahit hindi siya pantay na pantay, guys, don't beat yourself up about it. The world has bigger problems. Especially now. Wow, Corona. 
this part, guys, nakakatawa. Like before, kasi I had bangs. And I wanted to trim my bangs myself. So I thought that was a good idea. So I just went shh. And then my tumulog na parang isa pa. Shh. So I checked, and it was my eyebrow. Kaya parang may cut siya ko. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. So don't attempt na, guys. Just go to the salon if you're not an expert. That's just my two cents. Next up, guys, gusto natin eyebrow game strong pa rin. So, remember, sinusuklay-suklay natin siya kanina. We're just gonna set that in place with the Macro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. I actually got this as a gift or like from a PR package. Basta something like that, but I ended up loving it. Ngayon, we don't want the excess product on the brush because it tends to like make clumps on the hair. So, we're just gonna scoop off that excess product. Tapos chaka natin siya sa suplayin pataas. Edi, forever na siyang nandyan. Ah! Okay. Okay lang yan. Don't kayo magpapanik pag nangyari yun. Worst comes to worst, you can just put some concealer on a small brush and just carve your eyebrow out. Now, I don't always use eyeshadow, but just for the sake of the video, we're gonna put a bit of sparkle in our eyes. Now, I'm using the ColourPop Double and Trendy palette, and we're taking the shade, this shade over here, and we're just gonna pop it on our ring finger and just dab it on the eyelid. Very bronzy. I really love looking bronzy. So when you're bronzy, it seems like you're so warm and you're so welcoming and you're fun. And you've been to the beach, which we all haven't been this summer. Yep. The next step is we're gonna define our eyes a bit more. With that same ColourPop Double and Trendy palette, we're gonna be using the shade Keep It PG. It's this smoky brown color. And we're gonna line, lightly line our eyes. Because for an everyday look, I don't really like heavy, a heavy eyeliner or like a black eyeliner. I feel like that's just too much for an everyday look. And guys, again, like you don't have to do the exact same thing. Like you can stop wherever you feel comfortable. I'm just going along just to show you guys the many possibilities this palette can make. And also, like how far you can stretch an everyday look. Because I feel like that's important. We're just gonna line our upper lash line with the smoky brown shade. And you see how you don't see definite lines, but when I open my eyes, it just gives so much definition, like, yeah. So I finally found the shade that I was popping onto my eyelids earlier. It's called Hot Pod. Mm. We're just gonna pop some more because we want our eyes to really mesmerize the people we want to mesmerize. And moving on to the next shade. The next shade is called Teddy Bear. So we're just gonna put it sa gitna where our pupils are. So it brightens up our eyes. Back. Blend it in. We're gonna get a fluffy brush and just blend the edges. Because when pigment settles on the crease of your eyes and there's still like Boo na pigment. It's not a cute look. So going back to the ColourPop palette, we're gonna be using the shade Sand Noodles. We're just gonna line our I mean we're just gonna draw go over our lower lash line to give our eyes more definition. Now using the shade Teddy Bear, we're gonna go back in. We're gonna go back in with our liner brush. And guys, trust me on this, just Trust me, you're not gonna go blind. You see your waterline? Yeah, we're gonna put it there. We're just gonna lightly put it there. Promise, I promise you're not gonna go blind. And lastly, in the inner corners of your eye. 
Next is everyone's favorite part, blush. And I'm using MAC's Happy Go Rose. So since the shade is very pigmented, you want to go in with your brush like Lila. And if you don't, I'm going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going to blend it in. Now if you notice, I've been using the same brushes. Because I feel like with makeup, it doesn't have to be complicated. Like, Still, minimalism is key. Especially for an everyday look. And I'm not saying that I only own three brushes. I probably have more than that. But for an everyday look, I feel like that's really all you need. So if you notice, as I'm applying my blush, I don't swipe the product across my face and that's because I don't want the other products under that to move around. So let's just pat that onto our skin. Plus you're being more gentle on your skin by doing so. So it's a win-win. Guys, don't forget your highlight. For an everyday look, I like using the MAC Soft and Gentle. So with the same brush, I'm just gonna put it down the bridge of my nose. Like where the sun naturally catches your face. So, dito sa cheekbones, on my cupid's bow. And, like, for me, if it's an everyday look, you don't have to be very precise. And don't forget your brow bone. So, what I like to do is if I have minimal brushes, I like to pinch the brush like this and then just apply it on my cupid's bow. And also on the temples of my forehead. Well, some people, I see some people, they like applying their highlighter in the center. But I feel like that depends on your natural face shape. So for me, I find that what works best for me is to put it dito lang sa temples of my forehead. Now we're going back to our MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And we're just gonna lock all that makeup in, on our face and what I like about this it is, is that it blends in the powders that we just put on the face so it gives the look I mean it gives the face a more coherent look you're probably wondering why I didn't reach out for my mascara and that's because of this product right here the MAC prep and prime fix plus um, I like doing my mascara, curling my lashes, and doing my mascara after I lock my makeup in with the MAC Fix Plus because I don't want clumpy, clumpy lashes. And I just feel like when mascara gets wet, even if it's waterproof, it tends to get clumpy. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel, and that's this is the method that I'm most, more comfortable with it so that's what I'm gonna do. Now going to our mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So remember how we wiped off the excess product from our brow gel? We're gonna do the exact same thing with our mascara to avoid clumping before we apply it to our lashes. For an everyday look, I don't want full-blown lashes. I, yeah, because again, we're trying to go for the, the natural look. Now, a great tip for you guys is when you're applying mascara. So you can see your lash line talaga. You put the mirror below your face. And that way, it's easier to see where you're actually hitting the wand. Because I know how painful it is to hit the wand. I mean, hit your eye with a wand. And whatever excess, again, yung meron sa wand. I just put it on my bottom lashes, but I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes all the time. Depends. Sorry, I make weird faces when I apply mascara. See how that just lengthens, but not overly volumizes your lashes. That's what I like for an everyday look. Now, for my lips, and I know most people like using lip tints, and that's fine. Use that if you're more comfortable with that. But for me, what I like doing is I like getting any shade of lipstick that I want. And I just dab that on my finger like that. And just pat it on my lips. Um, this is the Espoir 
lipstick in the shade RT205. And I don't have like an everyday lipstick shade, but I usually just go and match whatever I'm wearing. Right now I'm wearing white, so I guess like, I'm free to use whatever shade I want. Ito lang trip ko today. Next step. I really dislike the look of chapped lips. So we're gonna be using the Vaseline Rosy. I don't even know what that this is. But again, I'm gonna put it on the description box down below, like all the products that I'm using today. Just swipe that on the lips. Really don't tend to go for the dry lip look. I just feel like when your lips are like juicy and or glossy, you just look so much more youthful. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Always remember that makeup is supposed to enhance your beauty and not cover it. Guys, please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you would be notified every time I upload videos like this. And if you want to see me do more makeup looks, please leave a comment down below. Thank you!